Hello, this is Claude, and today I'm going to do a uh, kind of a long video. Uh, it's about the MSI GE62 MVR Apache Pro uh, laptop, uh, for which I did a, an unboxing and a quick uh, review on, and uh, I did some uh, mod a modification on it. I changed all the components. I replaced the uh, M2 drive with the Samsung 960 Pro. I have replaced the uh, the RAM with a 32 gig kit, and I also put a instead of the hard disk drive one terabyte, I've replaced it with an 850 uh, Evo Samsung SSD drive. So today the video is to show how I've done that. So I'm going through the opening the laptop and replacing the components, and uh, so that's for the Apache Pro. So that's for the those interested in that computer. And the video kind of morphs at the end on how to clone a uh, SSD, or not an SSD, but how to clone a M2 drive when you only have one slot and you've got the M2 slot there and uh, you have to put it onto the, uh, onto the uh, other drive and then to the uh, SSD drive and then you put it back onto the, uh, to the uh, M2 drive. So uh, this morphs into that at the end, and this after that could be uh, a video about uh, any kind of laptop when you want to do that switch uh, of the uh, M2 drive to another one. So uh, I've put uh, I will put a link in the video at the end in the comment of the video uh, uh, with a uh, a full step by step uh, process that I've done and that I've uh, uh, I replied to someone on Tom's Hardware. Uh, asking how to do that so I've put the step-by-step -step procedure there so I will put the link into the uh, into the description of the video all right so I'm gonna modify the uh, my MSI GE 62 MVR uh, Apache Pro with the uh, i7 7700 HQ got the GTX 1017 there uh, I'm gonna change the 256 uh, SATA M2 drive and I'm going to put the uh, Samsung N60 Pro M2 and VME. I got an email from uh, MC, M MSI confirming that it's uh, SATA and the slot, the M2 slot is SATA and NVMe. So we'll test that. Hopefully it's going to work. And <laughs> or else, uh, and then I'm going to add the 32 gig of memory, uh, HyperX. I'm going to just change the uh, 16 gig uh, instead. Put that. I use a 16 gig for something else. And I'm going to put, instead of the hard disk drive, I'm going to put a uh, Samsung uh, 850 EVO 1TB that I had around the house. And anyway, it's going to help me uh, do the, the transfer because what I'm going to do to be able to clone this drive, the M2 drive, I'm going to take basically, I'm going to be cloning the S2 drive that's in the machine. I'm going to replace the... Uh, I'm going to replace the, um, the hard disk drive. I'm going to put my Samsung. I'm going to use the Samsung uh, Magician, I think that's the name of the software from Samsung to clone drives. So the drive inside is already a Samsung, it's a SATA uh, uh, SSD drive, but clone the uh, C drive onto the, uh, SS uh, onto the uh, Samsung SSD. Then I will remove my M2 drive. I will put the M2 drive instead, make sure in BIOS that I'm going to make this one as the bootable drive. Then I'm going to take the Magician. I'm gonna clone this over there on the C drive back onto the M2 drive. Once this is done, I'm gonna do with disk part. I'm going to um, uh, select the disk and then I'm gonna go clean it, make it fresh. And after that, I'm just gonna put the data that I want and stay there as a data drive. So this is basically the plan that I have and hopefully it's gonna be working and uh, see how it goes and I'm going to document it as I go with it. All right, there you go. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go on the Samsung uh, website and you're going to download some uh, software. The website is uh, www.samsung.com slash semiconductor slash mini site slash SSD slash download slash tools dot HTML. Uh, you're first going to go get the uh, data migration tool and that's a free software if the uh, device that you're cloning from one to the other so the one receiving the clone if it's a Samsung then it's gonna work if it's not then it's not gonna work so you need to have a Samsung on the receiving end so uh, this is a great software it's, it's, it's good I like it better than my uh, Acronis 
um, uh, tool there uh, because uh, Acronis forces you to uh, turn off the machine and then restart in a shell and then it does its thing but uh, this data migration works straight out of Windows and you don't have to log out or nothing so that's great uh, second thing you're gonna get is the Samsung magician software and this is gonna uh, it's a tool to test the speed of your drives uh, once it's done and uh, the last thing you're gonna download is the driver for the uh, NVMe drive the M2 drive that you're gonna install if you install the 950 or 960 uh, Pro uh, these are NVMe which is what I'm gonna do today and uh, so you need that uh, as well so uh, download that on your laptop and then uh, on the C drive because as you clone this uh, you know these are gonna stay with you alright so I uh, do that and we're gonna use that uh, throughout the process so I'm benchmarking my uh, I'm gonna take a photo I'm benchmarking my uh, my drive Five forty four, five oh four. That's before the change. So um, let's do the change of swaps of memory and the drives and we'll take it from there. It's that easy. here that is going to avoid the warranty and I am fudged can no longer re can return the computer right you know here you little screw and there it is that's all right so I always put this and now I know that this is my frame screws and this is the warranty one and then I put the other one if it's the SSD I put it here if it's the hardest drive I put that here so that's what I do all right looks like <laughs> the memory is the easy part goes that direction okay there you go that was easy hyperx it's cool looking but okay
then we're gonna screw back the bracket the SSD HDD bracket Okay, so now I need to transfer, I need to transfer the SSD to this SSD. Yeah, there's a switch that says that the case was open. Yeah, it was open. Got it. It's mine and there's no coming back. I'm gonna clean the uh, the drive first. I'm gonna clean it just in case with the command prompt CMD run as administrator disk part yeah whatever disk part okay uh, list okay list disk okay disk one as 931 okay so I'm gonna do a select disk disk one. This one is on the selected disk, and I'm gonna say clean. Okay, so I clean the disk. Exit. Exit again. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna run the Samsung uh, data migration. Uh -huh. Okay, disk C. All right, so the source disk is the current 238, going to the 931. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And it's working. Third, third time's the best. Okay, and now to put some kind of a do back to it. Nine sixty pro. 